In this week's video for Reaper, we're going to be taking a look at monitoring effects. We're going to take a look at what they are, how you can use them, and how to set them up. So let's just jump into Reaper and take a look at how to do all of that right now. So what exactly are monitoring effects in Reaper? Well, as the name would suggest, they're all to do with monitoring the audio that you're creating or recording. So let's just say, for example, you're using something like Sonarworks Reference 4 to make sure that you get a good representation of what your room or your headphones are like, and you want to apply that to the track that you're working on, but you don't want to render that out. That's where monitoring effects come in. Whatever you put on the monitoring effects track or channel is only going to apply during the monitoring phase. When you print or render your track out, it's going to have no effect whatsoever. So it's kind of useful for things like that. Or if you want to use VU meters, anything you want to apply to the track during the recording and playback phase, but not during the render phase. Okay, so let's take a look at how you actually implement that into your track. Using the Sonarworks Reference for reference, let's take a look at that. So in the previous video I did the demonstration, you'll probably notice that what I did was I put onto the master effects. And what that does is means I've got to manually disable that before I render the track out, which, as was rightly pointed out in some of the comments on that particular review, is not necessarily the best way of doing it. So monitoring effects is where this comes in. So what we need to do is first of all, go and take a look at that. So we come to the view menu, you can see monitoring effects is an option in there. We click on that, that'll open up the effects monitoring window and also load in the effects browser so we can go and choose what we want to actually place onto our effects monitoring section. Okay, so let's just use that example. So let's just do the sonar works again. So let's just do sonar. And let's just make sure I look at everything, all my folders. So there's our Sonarworks reference for. So we're going to simply drag that up, drop it on there, and you can see that now loads it in. You'll see that also in the top right-hand corner, we have monitor effects enabled. So in other words, it's green, showing us that that is currently having some form of monitoring effects applied to this track. So before we take a look at that, any more of that, let's take a look at what this actually means to us. When we create a monitoring effects chain, it applies to not just the project, but the entire instance of Reaper. So if I just show you another example, if I open up another new project tab, so I'll create a new project tab, you can see now that that means that the monitor effects is available in the top corner there. So whichever one I choose, I've still got that enabled. If I click and open it up, you can see there's my Sonarworks reference for software. So whenever you've got anything placed on the monitor effects, all of the projects you open up inside Reaper from that point on will have that applied to it. You can disable it if you want to in multiple different ways. You can open up the monitoring effects chain like we've got in front of us and just click to disable each individual VST or each individual effect you've got on there. Alternatively, you can simply click on the little on off icon on the right hand side. It'll then turn red to tell you you've got monitoring effects on your particular track or your, your sessions of Reaper, but they're disabled. So you've always got that way of easy enabling and disabling those. Like I say, this is only during the playback of working inside a session in Reaper. It has no effect when you render your track or tracks out. So that's pretty much all there is to create in monitoring effects chains inside Reaper itself. Obviously, be careful when you're doing this because anything you place in there that will affect the sound during the playback phase that you want to affect the sound during rendering phase will be ignored. So if you put EQs in there, for example, that would influence it, and then obviously you mix based around that EQ, when you render out, that is not going to be part of the actual render phase. Hope that kind of makes sense. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. That's what I want to cover, just to show you how you could use these monitoring effects in Reaper. If you enjoyed the video and you think it's something useful, please hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we upload new content to the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, please pop over to our Patreon page and pledge as little or as much as you'd like to help support us. The link to that is in the description below. And until next time, happy mixing.